Hi there! This is that guy's channel and in this video we're gonna do a review on this 1963 Pontiac Le Mans Coupe made in 1 to 18 scale by Highway 61. So if you want to know a little bit about this car and if you have no information about it, stay with me to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed yet. Give me a thumbs up and share this video and also click the bell for news. So let's unbox this Sixty-three Pontiac Le Mans. This car was actually named 1963 Pontiac Tempest Le Mans. Pontiac Tempest was an attempt of General Motors to make a compact car, and it started by using a Corvair platform and Corvair interior and several Corvair elements. Pontiac, on the other hand, did not produce a career-mounted engine, but a front-mounted engine with a rear-mounted transaxle two-speed transmission that could be either mechanical or automatic. Since it shared Corvair platform, this transmission was better adapted than it would be if it were a front-mounted transmission. This car was designed by John DeLorean, that design of the DeLorean DMC that was a time machine from the movie Back to the Future. It was made as a coupe sedan, convertible, station wagon. Then in 1964, the Pontiac GTO that was a little bit bolder than this Tempest Le Mans for 1963. When this car was first made as a Tempest, it had a 195 cubic inch 3.2 one line four engine that would be the right cylinder bank of a 389 cubic inch Trophy V8. This was a very interesting measure adopted by Pontiac since it would share the same production line for both engines and that would save Pontiac a lot of money. Then Pontiac also had a 326 cubic inch 5.3 V8 or a 215 cubic inch Buick 3.5 V8 as a, an extra option for this car. These engines could also have the transaxle rear mounted transmission, the three speed automatic and the four speed mechanic transmission. It's very hard to talk about this car without talking about Chrysler's Land 6 engine or the Chevrolet Corvair since this car body and platform was made after the Chevrolet Corvair and the engine was similar to the Land 6 from the point of view that the Land 6 was almost like a half V12 and the inline 4 was half a V8. This model car made by this model car made by Highway 61 is a Pontiac Tempest Le Mans. The Pontiac Tempest only have some little differences from this car, especially in the rear, since the rear end of the Pontiac Tempest would have two vertical rounded tail lights on its side, and this Pontiac has two horizontal rectangular tail lights that were available for the Pontiac Le Mans. And these tail lights also have a trim between them with a gas cap that's hidden underneath the rear trim. For a Pontiac Tempest, there would be no trim, just the vertical rounded tail lights. This model car is made with a very good quality, a very nice paint job, very good quality chrome, nice hubcaps, wheels and tires, very well detailed interior with carpet and several moving parts with a lot of quality and a lot of detail. We're going to check on these detail right now. If we look now. at the front of the Pontiac, we can notice this grill, very well made. An actual grill is not just a mesh. We've got a screen with a square pattern underneath the chrome trims, 321 V8 engine logo, very realistic headlights and turn signals, very good quality chrome as well as the grills and the bumper. The split grille and this Pontiac badge are typical of Pontiac cars. This car is very simple with very clean, clean lines for 1963. A windshield has a very good transparency, the windshield wipers are separate parts, the mirror has a very good proportion and the antenna is any antenna that's made in metal is retractable. The engine bay with a 326 V8 engine, the correct color, spark plug cables, the air filter pan, which is very accurate, brake master cylinder, the battery with all these cables, radiator shroud with a radiator cap, reservoir. The hinges actually have springs, such as the pinographic original hinges for a real car. Engine bay has a lot of realism. The color is also 
the correct color, the light blue that's supposed to be in Pontiac engines. And the quality paint is just like the one in a real car. The inner fenders are made in black, like the actual engine. The car interior that looks very accurate and very well made. We have this pattern of a synthetic leather for the seats that is very well mocked by the plastic. Tilting seats, individual seats, steering wheel. The, these upper and lower arcs of the steering wheel are actually transparent, which is a very nice feature of this model car. The gauges also look very accurate and very realistic with those chrome bezels in this brushed frame as it happened in the real car. And it's all made with very good materials. This car is a coupe, so we have a door frame and the window that's fixed made with a chrome piece around it. And these trims are chrome plated with a very top quality. The painting is perfect. What seems to be scratches or chips are actually reflexes due to the light. The pedals, they're a gas braking clutch. A closer look at the steering wheel, the gauges, which look very accurate. We also see buttons and knobs, door panels that look also very nice. This car was very simple and cost effective. The carpet and driver rubber mat seats that tilt and adjust back and forth. From the passenger side, a very nice interior, very simple, very plain interior for this car. There's a stick shift, either a two or a four speed. There's a transaction transmission. So it would be probably a two-speed glove compartment lid that opens for Highway 61s. This is a very nice feature, very well adjusted. Rubber mat, carpet, and the seats in a very nice flake for the metallic blue color. Chrome trim looks very good. Black headliner and the sun visors. They are adjustable for this car. In the rear end of the car, the greatest difference between the Pontiac Le Mans and the Pontiac Tempest is the taillights. The Tempest are two rounded taillights. There are in a vertical position right here in the quarter panel, while in Pontiac Le Mans, we have two horizontal rectangular taillights right in this position with a trim between them. The trunk lock, the badge, which is a decal, very well made. The Pontiac badge, the Le Mans badge, which is also a decay on the rear trim. For the Tempest, there would be no trim, but just this tiny door, which hides the gas As we cap. open the trunk, that unfortunately won't stay open in this case, we have a spare tire that's very realistic. The factory stickers and the inner fenders. The inner trunk that looks very precise, very accurate and pretty much correct. With a floor mat. That's actually a sticker with a very good quality that really mocks the real one. And as we open this tiny door, see the gas cap, which looks very realistic. The front shifts correctly and is very well aligned. We have a single exhaust with one tip on the right side and a very good transparency for the rear window with a plated chrome trim. The undercarriage for this car is very well made. We must remind that this car has a Corvair heritage shell. We have this gearbox that's in the rear, that's actually a transaxle transmission with all its components in the rear suspension. We have independent suspension for this car and all the suspensions are functional. The front and the rear, we have a brake lines, we have a single muffler and a gas tank and all the other details we see underneath the car, they're very well made and very well taken care of. The oil filter, starter, and the engine in correct color, and a drive shaft that goes all the way through the transmission instead of having a differential. We have this type of transmission that was used in the rear mount.
Ranking this car from 0 to 10, I think it's got a 10. It's a very nice replica of a very nice car. The 1963 Pontiac Le Mans is a very interesting car. It's what can be considered a pre-Pontiac GTO that was a very successful car from 1964 on. 63 Pontiac Le Mans really resembles that car and it's got a very nice looking design. And this model car is very well made with a very good quality paint, very good quality chrome, nice decals and nice badges and emblems. All parts are very well aligned, got a lot of moving parts and those are very well taken care of, which makes this a very nice model car. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel in case you haven't subscribed yet. Let me know down in your comments what you think about the car and about the video. And if you have any further information on the car and you want to share with us, do so in your comments. Give me your thumbs up and share this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.